So getting the combine and stuff out and ready to go for harvest. Um, but when the guys did get the bean head and combine out, we realized that we have a lot of raccoons. So I'm on raccoon patrol setting the live traps. So I'm just going down and marking each of the hold downs that looks like it needs to be replaced and um, the ones that look like they should be good for another year while the guys are working on getting that sickle bar out of the end of the head. So I had to leave yesterday afternoon to go to an eye doctor appointment and while I was gone, they pretty much got the bean head completely torn apart. Um, it is six years old, I think it's a 2013 yacht. So um, it's time for like some major maintenance on it. We do it like some stuff every year, but um, this year it was time. So yeah, it's gonna be super fun to put it all back together before we start cutting beans. So this is what it looks like now. There should be um, a belt right there and a sickle bar right there that will actually like cut the beans off and then it'll go to the belt and the belt will be like running them into the middle. This like doesn't really make sense without seeing it there, but it'll like run them into the middle where that belt will take it back and it will take it through the combine. That's like actually where it connects to the combine. So yeah, this whole thing is pretty much completely torn apart. So they went to Assumption, which is like close to two hours away to get parts for it. Um, they were just a lot cheaper over there. So I decided to stay home and eat healthy and get some um, paperwork done and cleaning done in the shop office. I haven't really done a whole lot of any of that, but it's the thought that counts, right? So as you can see, this is where we like completely tore everything off of it. So I guess first off, these are the, the belts that go around each end of the um, draper head. And then here is one of the sickle bars. It's actually upside down. And then these, they're called sections. I like to call them teeth because that just makes more sense to me. But that's like what actually um, cuts the beans off. And then the rest of the head is taken apart right here. So that's, that sickle bar will actually um, go through these. It's kind of hard to see without it being in there. But these are the guards and then we're replacing um, pretty much everything that's laid out here. So they, that's why they drove all that way to get all of these parts and new belts and new sickle bars. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff to do in the next couple weeks. So the guys got back with parts, not everything, but um, a good chunk of them. So hopefully we will get that head put back together pretty quick. So I just get to, um, oh shoot, take all these sections off. You can kind of see that. So I'm just unbolting all those, making it a little easier with that. <laughs> Number one useful tool on a farm, hold this crop you can. Seriously. Send, send all of them to Dana, Indiana. We go through a ton. So then all of these little sections just look like that, and like that's what actually um, cuts the beans. It like goes back and forth. It's not a very good explanation. It's kind of hard to see when it's not like, actually doing it, but yeah.
guys are out there working on the bean head some more. I am in here trying to figure out how to um, get the planting data from John Deere Connect Mobile to FieldView. We usually use FieldView and everything, but for the first time on the new John Deere bean planter we got, we used their system, but we use FieldView for everything else. So for the combine to make sense, we need to get this data transferred over. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to um, delete everything important. So hopefully the John Deere guy who's coming tomorrow will be able to help me out. Fingers crossed. So they are working on putting the belt back on. Um, that looks hot and sweaty. So I'm in here working on getting stuff ready to transfer to field view. Every once in a while, my dad is nice and he had to go to Terre Haute for parts this morning and brought back square donuts for me and Jeff. So there goes the diet for the day. Oh yeah, seriously, they're the best donuts around. So these pieces kind of fit together just like a puzzle and then to make them fit better before we put everything back together we're just cleaning out all the bean dust that got stuck in these grooves from last year. So we've got the new belts on. Um, I don't actually know what these are called, but we were cleaning out like the bean dust from last year. Um, so those fit in together like a puzzle. But yeah, so now that the belts are back on, like the beans, um, this is where the sickle bar will go and they'll cut them and then that will pull them in onto this belt, which will move them to the center. And then this belt will move them back and through the combine. Um, yeah. And then the same way on the other side, it'll just bring everything to the middle. So now we're just putting all the guards back on, which makes the bean head look like it kind of should without the sickle bar, which just means that we are one step closer to bean harvest. So we thought we had all the parts um, to for the bean head over there, and we thought what we didn't have was in the combine toolbox that we took off, but we were still missing a couple of um, the guards, but for the center, so they're different than this. So we got sent out to the handy dandy service truck to look for them. I think I have a whole box of stuff. There we go. Because it's another one of these, like these are the main ones. But the one I'm looking for should have like three that are longer. But that's the bottom part of it. we should be good to go and then we can just order some extras to have the spare parts just in case anything goes wrong so while dad is taking off the old skid plates which are the yellow rectangle things on the bottom of the head i get to sort through all of the old guards that we just took off so We'll throw out the ones that are bad, but the ones that are still in pretty decent shape, we will keep um, as replacement parts in case one of the new one breaks in the middle of harvest. We finally like got raccoons in there, but I guess they didn't set the trap off until after they left because, <sighs> yep, they got the Funyuns out there. They've made a mess of this, so 
Guess I'll try again. So, ooh, I just stepped in raccoon crap. Oh. Just back out here in the shed to put these punches back in the service truck so we don't get them mixed up with the tools from the shop. Um, that way we have them like this fall, like if we need to fix something out in a field, they're all right here and ready to go. Um, the bean head is getting close to being done. We've got to tighten up a few things. And then I think all we have to do after that is put like slide the sickle bar back in there. Um, I think equipment's not my thing. I'm not good at it. it does not come easy. Nothing mechanical, but um, yeah, I think that's all we have left to do and we should be good to go. And then probably be getting the, the corn head out here next. So yeah. So the John Deere guy just left. Um, got stuff out there figured out. I think I'm praying. I really hope that we got um, the fields from the iPad, the John Deere Field Connect, transferred over to the Climate Field View because that's what we'll be using or my dad will be using in the combine this fall. So yeah, hopefully it's still like processing. Fingers crossed that works. So yeah, I'm watching that. I've got the iPad going. I've got my computer going because I'm working um, on like getting the harvest collection ready for Heart of the Midwest. Got the planner out. I'm not gonna lie, it's three o'clock on Friday afternoon and I'm just ready for like a glass of wine, ice cold margarita, some Jack Daniels on the rocks, any of those things. <laughs> So for the most part, we've got the head pretty much done. We've got the belts back on. We've got new guards, new, um, these are the guards. We've got new hold downs. Um, you can't see it, but underneath there, we got new skid plates. So yeah, we have to put the sickle bar back in. Um, there's a couple other like little things, but yeah, should be almost good to go. And now the weekend can officially begin.